Welcome to Lysio's Smart Tax Organizer. Today we're going to look at the client experience. Clients will receive an invitation to their tax organizer via email and they just simply have to click on login. Once they do that, if they're already logged in, we'll take them straight to the organizer. Otherwise, they can log in with Gmail, Microsoft Outlook, a magic link, or a username and password. Once they're in, they can pick a section to start with. I'm going to choose personal details and we can review all the information we have. There's also a question here. If our ID records are incomplete or out of date, please upload a copy of a driver's license or state issued ID. If they have a new one, they can simply attach it here or browse. If they don't, they can click on NA and move on. Additional yes, no questions are present. They're really easy to answer. They can move on to the next section. Here's contact information for a review and then they get right into the questionnaire. The questionnaire has basic questions and we have three different types of templates for questions and for document requests. In this case, they can go ahead and answer if there are any changes and so forth. If they say yes, for example, to a question such as, did you buy or sell any crypto? If they say yes, we'll ask them for the supporting documentation. If they say no, we'll move on. Let's assume they say yes. If they have information to provide here, they can go ahead and drag those schedules right in. We'll fill in, there we go. We'll fill in the files right into the line. We're, all, we're converting the image files into PDFs and they can continue to move on. As they go, each of the progress uh, items is updated, giving them an accurate count and letting them know exactly where they are in the process. If they have any other questions or concerns, they can add them here and move on to the next section. In the document section, they have all of the documents they provided last year in a single consolidated document request list. Again, they'll come through here, drag and drop the files that are relevant right into the lines. If they're not relevant this year, they can go ahead and mark them as not applicable. And of course, if they're doing this on a phone or a tablet, we're going to present the scanner for them to use those directly here. So upload file, scan document, or grab them from the browser. That's as easy as that. I'll move this back out. There we go. And we'll continue down the list. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark a bunch of these as NA. And I'll leave a few open. We have an anything new section as well. And if they have a state form or if they have state taxes that apply, we'll actually add the state taxes. We have full support for business income, Schedule C. We also support Schedule E and Schedule F. In those schedules, if there are values they had in the prior year, we will present them directly here. For example, for this Schedule C, they had gross income and sales last year of 400. This gives them a good clue of where to look on their financials for the data you need. When they're ready to submit, they click on submit. We will, if they haven't already answered all the questions, we'll ask them whether or not they're truly ready to submit it and let them know that they can't edit it after they hand it to you. You'll always be able to reopen it on your side if you have additional questions you want them to fill out. But if they click on view unanswered, what we'll do is we'll come through here and bring them back and show them the questions there we go. Show them the questions that they haven't answered yet. Okay. Once they're done, they'll finally click on submit and you're done. So that's the client experience for Lysio. It works on a PC, a tablet, and on mobile phones. And it's as easy as clicking right through the sections. Thank you.